everybody, Charles Barber here, and today I've got some amazing information about our M Minerals salt, and I got a special offer at the end of the video. What we're gonna cover today is some analysis. You know, a big part at Crucial Four and a big part of our culture is the community. And you guys are awesome when asking questions. You guys are very inquisitive. You're knowledgeable. And I just, I love that. I see a lot of companies out there that when you ask for their C of A or you ask for some of their testing requirements, they just kind of like blow you off. We, you know, have had a hard time finding the best salts in the world. And one of the reasons why we brought in minerals on is because there's only a small amount of M salt, which is the Icelandic, which you guys all know and love. And it's a challenge, you know, it's taken me almost two years to find in minerals. And we just got the test back because, you know, you guys were asking, you guys were like, hey, what's the trace mineral analysis? Like, we want to see the data. We had like the magnesium and the potassium and the phosphorus and those main minerals, but we really wanted to take it a, a step farther and go a little bit deeper. When I was sourcing this, I found that there was an area or waters in Antarctica and there's an area or a vein that ran up into the coast of Africa. And this vein, I just had this inclination, was loaded with trace minerals, just based on geological essays, research, talking to people. But I didn't know for sure. Now, obviously, I tasted the salt too. That was the other thing, is just like having it in my hands and tasting it. I'm like, oh man, this is loaded with trace minerals. I can just feel that. But look, I wanted to get you guys the pepper. And we're going to flash up this trace mineral analysis for you guys. And you're going to be able to see. But this salt blew me away. Okay, I had no idea what we were in store for. I knew we were going to have trace minerals in this stuff. And you guys, as you guys know, this is a salt that's tested for microplastics. Which is another thing. I hate to divert and go back and forth here. But so many salts out there, they claim low microplastic. I mean, I see people that are in certain diet fads, if you will, and they're pushing specific salts, and they're okay with saying, you know, uh, low microplastics. And to me, that's like non-acceptable. It's not acceptable at all to have low microplastics. We don't want any microplastics in our salt. And that's something that the M Minerals has. That's something that the I M Salt has. Both of these salts, M Minerals and M Salt, have zero microplastics inside of them. And there's very few salts out there that are like this. And so a big part of, again, bringing on in minerals wasn't just like trying to find something that was low in heavy metals, but was also microplastic free, but that was high in essential minerals. Because that's why we all want amazing salt, right? We all know that our food is devout of minerals. We all know that our environment is filled with chemicals. And we're trying to do our best to balance that out. And there's not a better way to do that other than salts and sea salt in particular. And so it's part of my duty as, as a person on this planet to go and find the best salts in the world. And I truly believe that M Minerals is one of the best salts in the world. And when you start to look at this trace mineral analysis, you guys will be able to see that. For example here, I'm just gonna kind of look at this analysis. But one of the things that blew me away about this analysis was that there's silver in this salt. Yes, 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 I said it. There's silver in the salt. So this salt is worth its weight in gold. Seven point, let me see, let me get it right. 7.56 parts per million of silver in, in minerals. That is astonishing. I've never seen a trace mineral analysis that has silver at this level in it. Um, and not to just mention silver, the sulfur is high. The magnesium is high. The magnesium is 6,637 parts per million of magnesium. The calcium is extremely low. So the calcium is 1,171 parts per million. But we also have other things inside of here, like vanadium. And if you guys aren't familiar with vanadium, it's known as a silver bullet. And it's one of these trace minerals that not a lot of people talk about. There's not a lot of research on it, so I can't give you some research study. I know that's like the new thing today. There's so many people out there that just kind of regurgitate studies. But the information that we are seeing about vanadium is that it can really help well-being and mood. But the other one is lithium. And there's lithium in this salt. And it's all done, of course, in a trace mineral amount 
and I'm over here looking for it, but lithium is 0.67 parts per million. And I could keep going down this list, you know, the zinc's inside of here, copper's inside of here. The heavy metals that we would be concerned about are basically non-existent, like lead is 0 0.045. Uh, the iron is only 0.19. So when you start to look at this salt, it's amazing. Like when you look at the trace mineral analysis on this guy, and, and every time I send this to maybe other product formulators that I work with, other people in the industry that are just homies, every time, like as soon as we got it, I was sending it to them like, guys, look at this trace mineral analysis that we got. Everyone was like, holy moly, like send me some of that in minerals. And I just find it to be such a gift that we can access this. Now, we do fall into a lot of the problems that we have with them salt with the minerals. There is a small limited supply. I can only get it a few times, a few months out of the year. And so therefore there is a supply and demand issue. We're doing everything that we can in our power to make sure we stay in stock for you guys. Another reason why we brought on them minerals in conjunction with them salt is that so that you guys could still get the best salts ever in your diet. And we have that here and the proof is in the pudding. Super excited to be able to offer you guys these two salts, specifically in minerals. Because for one, in minerals is cheaper, it's a cheaper salt. You see guys, most sea salts actually come up in what's known as a salt pan, and that's how they're harvested. But the Icelandic salt is not done like that. It's geothermally evaporated, and it's brought in through a filtration process, and it's brought into it's like its own made salt pans. So it's a completely different salt. The problem with that is there's hardly any available and that's why we always sell out. So you're gonna want to have still add salt to your diet, right? It's like if you can't get M salt, you still need some salt. So what are you gonna do? And that's exactly the problem that I wanted to solve and why I kept searching and searching and searching for another salt, hence M minerals. And you know, at the end of it all, with it being cheaper because it's done in a more natural way and it's not has all this processing you can afford to buy more you can afford to use more and you can use insult as more like a reserve if you will like you can use it more sparingly and in this way you're con consistently giving your body the right minerals it needs to stay in homeostasis and we know how important mineralization is we know how important salt is for neuron and dendrite connections for synapses for brain development for muscle growth for hormone health, for blood sugar balancing. The list goes on and on and on. We need salt. We are salting of the sea. I think that's how that goes. <laughs> but you guys get the point. I don't need to elaborate on that because everyone knows why we need salt in our diet. And we all know why we want clean salt in our diet. And we have the best, cleanest, purest, most nutrient dense salts in the world at Crucial 4. And I'm so excited to be able to share this mineral analysis with you guys. And we're going to be posting it on our website. We're going to be posting it here in this video. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for trusting us. Thank you guys so much for asking us for to keep pushing us to get that data for you guys. Because it's something that we pride ourselves in. You know, we really pride ourselves in testing our products because we do that in the upfront. And most of the time we feel like, do people even care? And the fact that you guys are asked, you ask these questions, the fact that you guys are super pertinent and trying to figure out the best salts for yourselves, lets us know our purpose in place with you guys. And we're so honored to have you guys a part of our community. And we're so honored to have you guys part of our community, community that we're gonna be giving you guys an offer on in minerals. You've lasted this long. So if you would like to try in minerals and you haven't yet, we're gonna give you guys a 15% off our in minerals. And I don't know what that code's gonna be, but it's gonna get flashed up here. And I want you guys to enjoy that discount code. Enjoy the in minerals. Any questions and comments, please leave them below. You know we're here to answer them. And I hope you guys enjoy having the best salt, best mineralization in your mind, body, and soul. And I'm glad that I can be here, elated that I can be here to help provide that for you guys because it's something that I find near and dear to my heart because I want that not only for myself, but I want that for my family, my friends, and my community. So job bless you guys. Nothing, nothing but 100%, 100% love from me to you and enjoy in minerals with a little discount from us. Signing off.